Hey everyone. Today, I'm going to share with you one of the scariest moments of my life. My name is Junior, and this year, I waited a long time to buy my own house. However, this new home was filled with dark secrets that would change my life forever. Leaving the house I had lived in with my friends for years gave me an exclusive feeling. However, my new home was very different from the previous ones. Surrounded by forests, it was located in a distant town. I hadn't met my neighbors, and this silence gave me the creeps. Moving day marked the beginning of mysterious events. As I was moving my belongings, I encountered a man wandering around the house. He was an old man, and he seemed to have sprung from the shadows. He introduced himself with a smile and then quietly walked away. However, I couldn't shake off the unease of that moment. Returning home as the day turned into night, my unease only grew. The lights not working and the house enveloped in darkness created a mysterious atmosphere that increased my fear. Danger seemed to lurk around every corner. A visitor at my door in the middle of the night brought my moments of fear to a peak. The man standing behind the door was behaving horribly. His eyes were locked on the doorknob, his body trembling. He insisted on me opening the door, pointing to the darkness outside. Finally, I suppressed my screams and called the police, but the man had vanished afterwards. I encountered strange sounds and mysterious findings in my house. At every step, I was getting closer to unraveling the secrets in the darkness. However, as I learned the truths, I had to face a horrifying reality. The dark secrets hidden in my house brought the tension-filled moments of my life to the surface. Mysterious rooms hidden behind walls showed how terrifying a past my house actually had. At every step, I had to confront the truth in the darkness. This experience reminded me of the dangers hidden in the dark corners of life. Perhaps real fear lies within the unknown. Ultimately, this experience gave me the opportunity to find my own courage and showed me that I wasn't afraid to confront the darkness. As the night progressed, strange occurrences escalated in my house. I saw bizarre figures passing through the shadows and sometimes heard eerie sounds emanating from the walls. However, as I tried to unravel the dark secrets, I found myself being pulled into a deeper vortex one night. I heard a whisper piercing through the silence. I quickly opened my eyes and scanned the room, but saw nothing. The room was silent, yet I felt something was amiss. Suddenly, I heard a faint creak from one corner of the room. With trembling hands, I stepped towards it. However, as I approached to see what it was, I experienced a momentary shiver, finding nothing there but a lost soul in the darkness. After my moments of terror, I decided to check the security cameras that recorded every step in my house. However, the footage I watched only intensified my fear. I saw unrecognizable entities wandering among the shadows and ghostly figures moving in every room of my house. Not a single frame was safe anymore. What's worse, the mysterious findings in my house were no longer confined to just ghosts. One day, I stumbled upon an old journal in my house. Flipping through its pages, I discovered that the previous owners of my house dabbled in dark rituals and turned the house into the epicenter of a curse. The curse would target new owners and subject them to terrifying nightmares. As I learned the truth, I realized that the dark secrets in my house ran deeper than I thought. As I battled the effects of the curse, I found myself in the middle of a labyrinth within the darkness. At every turn, a new fear awaited me, and each step opened the doors to previously unexplored horrors. Finally, determined to end the curse, I bravely took action. In the dead of night, I walked through every corner of my house by candlelight and took the necessary steps to dispel the curse. However, my bold attempts only strengthened the curse and the darkness enveloped me even tighter, trapped amidst the shadows. When the moment came to confront the darkness, 
I learned what true fear was. Fear was more than just a shadow. Fear was the deepest darkness within us, as the nights grew longer and the darkness deeper. My house became a breeding ground for unspeakable horrors. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind, sent shivers down my spine, for I knew that I was not alone in that coarse place. One fateful night, I awoke to find myself paralysed, trapped in the grasp of an invisible force. A sinister presence loomed over me. Its breath cold against my skin, it whispered incomprehensible words into my ear. I struggled against its grasp, but it held me tight, suffocating me with its malevolent intent. As dawn broke, the entity released its hold on me, leaving me gasping for air and drenched in a cold sweat. But the terror was far from over. Shadows danced on the walls, their twisted forms contorting into grotesque shapes that seemed to mock my fear. I tried to flee, but every door I approached slammed shut before me, trapping me in a never-ending nightmare. Desperate for answers, I delved into the history of my house, hoping to uncover the source of the darkness that plagued it. What I discovered chilled me to the bone. Long ago, the land upon which my house stood was cursed by a vengeful spirit, condemned to wander the earth for all eternity. Those who dared to inhabit the cursed land were doomed to suffer its wrath, tormented by the restless souls that called it home. Armed with this knowledge, I embarked on a quest to break the curse and free myself from its clutches. But with each step I took, the darkness grew stronger, its grip tightening around my soul. Haunted by visions of unspeakable horror, I fought to keep my sanity intact, but the darkness threatened to consume me whole. In my darkest hour, I turned to the only weapon I had left, the power of light. Armed with torches and candles, I ventured into the heart of the darkness, determined to banish it once and for all. But as I confronted the source of the curse, I realised that the true horror lay not in the shadows, but within myself. For in my quest for salvation, I had become that which I sought to destroy. I was the embodiment of fear, the harbinger of darkness, doomed to wander the cursed land for all eternity. And as I gazed into the abyss, I knew that there was no escape from the nightmare that had become my reality. As the night stretched on, each one seemed to bring with it a new layer of dread and despair. The very walls of my house, seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy, as if they were alive and feeding off my fear. One particularly ominous night, I awoke to find myself not in my bed, but standing in the middle of the forest surrounding my house. The trees loomed overhead like twisted spectres, their branches reaching out to ensnare me in their grasp. I stumbled through the darkness, every rustle of the leaves sending my heart pounding in my chest. As I made my way back to the house, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched. Shadows danced at the edge of my vision, and I could hear whispered voices echoing through the night. I quickened my pace, desperate to escape the suffocating embrace of the forest. But when I finally reached the safety of my home, I found no solace there. The darkness had seeped inside, twisting the familiar into something sinister and unfamiliar. Shadows wreathed on the walls, their shapes twisting and contorting into grotesque forms. Every step I took echoed through the empty halls, as if the house itself was mocking my fear. I tried to barricade myself in my room, but the darkness followed me there, creeping in through the cracks in the walls and seeping under the door. I could feel its icy tendrils wrapping around me, dragging me down into the depths of despair. In my desperation, I turned to the only source of light I could find, the flickering flame of a candle, that even as its feeble glow illuminated the room, I could see the shadows lurking in the corners, waiting to snuff out its light and plunge me into darkness once more dot with each passing hour. The darkness seemed to grow stronger, feeding off my fear and despair. I could feel it closing in around me, suffocating me with its suffocating embrace. I knew that, if I didn't find a way to escape soon, it would consume me whole, but just as I was about to surrender to the darkness, 
a glimmer of hope appeared on the horizon. A faint ray of sunlight pierced through the gloom, banishing the shadows and illuminating the path to salvation. With renewed determination, I gathered my strength and made a run for the door, determined to escape the clutches of the darkness once and for all. As I burst into the blinding light of day, I felt a weight lift from my shoulders, as if I had emerged from the depths of hell itself. I knew that the darkness would always be there, lurking just out of sight, but I also knew that as long as I had the light to guide me, I would never be consumed by its endless night. As the night deepened, an oppressive silence descended upon the house, broken only by the occasional creak of the floorboards and the sound of my own ragged breath. It felt as though the very air had thickened, suffocating me with its weight. I ventured into the depths of the house, each step echoing through the empty halls like a death knell. Shadows danced on the walls, twisting and contorting into grotesque shapes that seemed to taunt me. With their malevolent presence, suddenly I heard it a faint whisper, barely audible yet filled with an unmistakable malice. It seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere at once, echoing through the darkness like a sinister lullaby. I froze in terror, my heart pounding in my chest as I strained to make out the words. Leave this place, the voice hissed, its tone dripping with venom. You do not belong here. Leave before it's too late. I tried to shake off the fear that gripped me, to convince myself that it was just my imagination running wild. But deep down, I knew that something sinister lurked within the walls of the house, something ancient and malevolent that would stop at nothing to claim me as its own. With trembling hands, I reached for the nearest light switch, but as soon as I flicked it on, the darkness swallowed it. Whole, leaving me once again shrouded in shadow. Panic surged through me as I stumbled through the darkness, searching desperately for any sign of escape. But no matter where I turned, the darkness seemed to follow. Closing in around me like a suffocating blanket, I could feel its icy tendrils wrapping around me, pulling me deeper into its embrace with each passing moment dot in a blind panic. I raced for the door, determined to flee the nightmare that had become my reality. But as I reached for the handle, a sudden gust of wind slammed the door shut, trapping me inside with the darkness. I screamed for a help, but my cries fell on deaf ears. There was no one coming to save me, no one to rescue me from the clutches of the darkness that threatened to consume me whole. And then, just when I thought all hope was lost, I saw it a glimmer of light flickering in the distance, beckoning me forward like a beacon of hope in the endless night. With renewed determination, I pushed forward, determined to reach the light and escape the darkness that threatened to engulf me. As I drew closer, the light grew brighter, illuminating the path before me with its warm, inviting glow. And with each step I took, the darkness retreated, shrinking back into the shadows from whence it came. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, I emerged from the darkness into the blinding light of day. I blinked against the brightness, feeling the warmth of the sun on my skin, I basked in the freedom of the open air. But even as I stood there, bathed in the light of day, I knew that the darkness would always be there, lurking just out of sight, waiting for its next opportunity to strike. And though I had escaped its clutches for now, I knew that it would never truly be gone. A constant reminder of the horrors that lurked within the shadows. The silence in the house became suffocating, thickening the air until it was almost tangible. Every creak of the floorboards echoed like a sinister whisper. Each shadow lurking in the corners seemed to pulse with a life of its own. I forced myself to continue exploring the house, my steps hesitant and cautious. The walls seemed to close in around me, pressing in with an oppressive weight that made it hard to breathe. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, that unseen eyes followed my every move dot as I ventured further into the depths of the house. The temperature seemed to drop, sending shivers down my spine. Goosebumps prickled across my skin, and a cold dread settled in the pit of my stomach. Then, 
from the darkness ahead came a sound that made my blood run cold or low, guttural growl that seemed to reverberate through the very foundations of the house. It was a sound no human could make, a sound that spoke of something ancient and primal lurking in the shadows. I froze in terror, my heart pounding in my chest. I knew I should turn back, flee from this place and never look back. But some primal instinct kept me rooted to the spot, compelled me to press on even as every fibre of my being screamed for me to run. With trembling hands, I reached for the nearest light switch. But as soon as I flicked it on, the darkness seemed to swallow the light hole, leaving me standing in a pool of darkness. Panic clawed at the edges of my mind. As I stumbled blindly through the house, searching desperately for a way out, and then, just as I thought, I couldn't bear another moment of the suffocating darkness, I saw it a faint glimmer of light, shining from beneath a door at the end of the hallway. It beckoned to me like a beacon of hope in the endless night, promising safety and sanctuary from the horrors that lurked in the shadows. But as I approached the door, I felt a wave of dread wash over me a sense of impending doom that made my blood run cold. I knew that whatever lay beyond that door was far worse than anything I had encountered so far. That to open, it would be to invite unimaginable horrors into my life. But still, I couldn't turn back. The darkness had already claimed me, its tendrils wrapping around me like a vice, pulling me inexorably towards my doom. With a trembling hand, I reached for the door handle, stealing myself for whatever lay beyond, and as the door creaked open, I was greeted by a sight that would haunt me, for the rest of my days a yawning abyss of darkness, stretching out into eternity. I stood on the precipice, teetering on the edge of oblivion, the darkness whispering sweet promises of release, but just as I was about to surrender to the darkness, a voice broke through the silence a voice filled with warmth and light, banishing the shadows and filling me with hope. It was the voice of reason, of sanity in the face of madness, and it pulled me back from the brink with one final burst of strength. I turned away from the darkness and fled into the light, leaving the horrors of the house behind me, and though I knew that the darkness would always be there, lurking just out of sight, I also knew that as long as I had the light to guide me, I would never be truly alone. As the night deepened, so did the sense of foreboding that hung heavy in the air. Each step I took seemed to reverberate through the empty halls, echoing like a haunting melody of despair. Shadows danced menacingly on the walls, twisting and contorting into grotesque shapes that seemed to taunt me with their malevolence. I forced myself to push forward, my heart pounding in my chest like a drumbeat of dread. Every corner I turned, every door I opened, only served to deepen the sense of unease that gripped me like a vice. The house itself seemed to pulse with a sinister energy, as if it were alive and watching my every move with malevolent intent. And then, just as I thought the darkness couldn't get any thicker, I heard it a soft whispering that seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves. At first, I dismissed it as a trick of my imagination, a byproduct of my frayed nerves. But as the whispering grew louder, more insistent, I realised that it was something far more sinister. I felt a chill run down my spine as I listened to the words. Words that spoke of unspeakable horrors and ancient evils that lurked in the shadows. It was as if the house itself were speaking to me beckoning me deeper into its depths with promises of unimaginable terror. I tried to flee, to escape the clutches of the darkness. That threatened to consume me whole, but no matter which way I turned, I found myself trapped in a labyrinth of twisting corridors and endless hallways. It was as if the very layout of the house had shifted, rearranging itself to keep me prisoner in its grasp. And then, just when I thought, I couldn't bear another moment of the suffocating darkness. I stumbled upon a room unlike any I had seen before. The walls were lined with strange symbols and arcane sigils, and in the centre of the room stood a pedestal adorned with ancient artefacts of unknown origin. As I approached the pedestal, 
a sense of dread washed over me, filling me with a primal fear unlike anything I had ever experienced before. I knew then that I had stumbled upon something far more sinister than I could ever have imagined, something that should have remained buried deep beneath the earth. But before I could flee, before I could escape the clutches of the darkness that threatened to consume me, I felt a cold hand close around my throat, squeezing the very life from my body. I tried to scream, to call out for help, but no sound escaped my lips as the darkness closed in around me, swallowing me whole, and as I sank into oblivion, as the darkness claimed me as its own, I knew that I would never escape its grasp, for in the depths of the darkness there is no hope, no salvation, only eternal torment and despair. And here we come to the end of our story. Thanks to everyone who watched. If you enjoy this kind of chilling content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us. And make sure to turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest videos until the next. Terrifying adventure, don't get lost in the darkness.